Hello, this is Grandpa Saw and Grandma Hammer. Here we are on our excursion. We stopped in Avila Beach, California for Sunday afternoon. To have a little respite, we've been working really hard uh, on uh, the rental that we're getting ready for uh, a tenant here in uh, Rua Grande, California. So today we decided to take a day of respite and uh, come back to a familiar place for us over the years when we lived here. We loved coming to Avila Beach. And Stephen has a story that he wants to tell you about one of the adventures that he came here for with his grandsons. In July of 2015, three grandsons and I got on the trolley that leaves Pismo Beach and we rode the trolley over here to Avila Beach at near the pier and we were at the anchor monument uh, and took pictures and walked around the area and just had a really fun time that day. And so when we uh, talked about today doing our uh, next video, because it's been quite a while since we've recorded, just because we've been really busy, Stephen remembered the anchor when he brought the grandsons and Seth was in a stroller at the time. So it was quite an excursion for him to take three grandsons and a stroller on a trolley from Pismo Beach to Avila Beach. And so we thought we'd come back here today and uh, and when Steve was sharing about the anchor, uh, a scripture came to my mind. And so I want to read that to you. It is from Hebrews 6. And it's about Abraham believing for the promised son that God had told him about. And it had been a very long time, and yet he had still not received the promise. This is Hebrews 6, starting with verse 13. It's titled in the Passion Translation, God's Faithful Promise. When God made a promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater than himself, he swore an oath on his own integrity to keep the promise as sure as God exists. So he said to Abraham, have no doubt. I promise to bless you over and over and give you a son and multiply you without measure. So Abraham waited patiently, seeing the promise fulfilled. It is very common for people to swear an oath by something greater than themselves, for the oath will confirm their statements and end all dispute. So in the same way, God wanted to end all doubt and confirm even more forcefully to those who would inherit his promise. Are you waiting for some promises? I can assure you that God is faithful. His purpose is unchangeable. So God added his own vow to the promise. So it is impossible for God to lie, for we know that his promise and his vow will never change. And now we have run into his heart to hide ourselves in his faithfulness. This is where we find his strength and comfort for he empowers us to seize what he has already been established ahead of time for our lives. An unshakable hope. I'm going to read that again. This is where we find strength and comfort for he empowers us to seize what has already been established ahead of time. An unshakable hope. We have this certain hope like a strong unbreakable anchor holding our souls to God himself. Our anchor of hope is fastened to his mercy seat in the heavenly realm beyond the sacred threshold and where Jesus, our forerunner, has gone in before us. He is now and forever the royal priest like Melchizedek. God has made promises to you. He's made promises to Stephen and I, just as he made a promise to Abraham. And God's promises are yes and amen. We bless you today. And we're going to give you a picture 
of us standing in front of the large anchor and also of the grandsons and Stephen standing in front of this anchor back in 2015. God is faithful. And I just want to share with you, we're not outside recording in the beautiful sunshine because we tried that earlier and the wind came up and knocked our phone over. My phone got busted, but I can still use it until God provides another one. So anyway, we love you all. We bless you. We thank you for joining us on this 36th day of the adventures of Grandpa Saul and Grandma Hammer. Till next time.